Hey up, Rock God 2004 back with another video for you. Um, and I'm just going to share with you what I watched last night on Halloween <laughs> and yesterday. Um, I thought I might have an early start in the hope that I'll fit more than three or four in. Um, and I did, but there's one I didn't get to, unfortunately, but I might watch that today. And it is one of the ones that I usually watch every year, but, you know. Anyway... <clears throat> The first one I watched, um, and I thought I'd do this just for a bit of a change. I've never watched one of these on Halloween before, and it worked. It actually did work. I was thinking, I'm not watching this thing, and this is weird. You don't watch on you don't watch this on Halloween, but my God, it did. It worked, and I watched this at about um, eleven o'clock in the morning, and then I fell asleep because I've been awake all night. Uh, I fell asleep for the end. When I woke up, I watched the end of it. But it, it was tea time by then. Hence why I missed out on one of the other ones. So the first thing I watched was a Universal Classic Monster film. And it was The Wolfman. And this is the Blu-ray that I've got of it. It's in the, um, the Universal Monsters box set which i've got i've got the blu-ray box set because when you get the 4k editions of these you just get the film and that's it this has got the lot it's got all the sequels so you've got in this one as well you've got like um the creature from the black lagoon and the two sequels and the first and second one are both in 3D. The third one was the only one that wasn't rec uh, recorded in or filmed in 3D, sorry. Uh, this is a nice embossed box as well, which I've kept myself in on, but you can feel like the classic monsters. Um, this is very probably, if not, it's definitely one of my favourites of the Universal Monster films. I absolutely love this film. It's amazing. I love it to bits. I always have done since I was a kid. Um, Balon Chaney just it's like that part was made for him if you haven't seen this I don't know where you've been especially if you love werewolf films you need to see this the original one um, it's just a, a, it's just an amazingly entertaining uh, a fun hour and ten minutes they're not long these when you look at the old ones like Dracula Frankenstein the Wolfman um, and the mummy and the um, invisible man and stuff like that they're not long so th this is just like 70 minutes long and it's such a blast um, the transformation <laughs> it's 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 quite funny now but you've got to think like these were the first horror films really with sound and stuff I'm not talking like Nosferatu and all them but the run of the mill ones these are what people flock to see um, and there was no there was no like outstanding effects, but you've got to think these were the nineteen sort of thirties and forties, and they did amazing. So yes, there's the disc, and so for a change, I thought, yeah, I want to watch one of these just to kick it off. So that is uh, Lon Chaney as the Wolfman. The second film I watched for Halloween, um is what I always describe as the film that absolutely epitomises Halloween. It's the look of it. Um, it it's got, the, for me, the weather. It's it's sunny, but it doesn't look warm or freezing. It's just, it just captures what Halloween is for me. Um, I'm sure the leaves are blowing around. It's just very autumnal looking. Um, this gets a lot of love now. When it first came out, it got absolutely slated. And I watched this one first because it's it's basically like a standalone film of its own. People say it doesn't belong in the series. Yes, it does. Get over it. And sh shut up morning for Christ's sake. This is the absolutely amazing classic Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. This is the Screen Factory edition. Um which was core sort of released by Sacred Bones. There's two variants of this. You could get the Screen Factory one 
or the Sacred Bones one. And seeing as Screen Factory don't ship international and Sacred Bones do, that's where I got it. And it's paid off because in these box sets you get a seven inch single. And the seven inch single on the Screen Factory website, I think it was clear vinyl with red possibly white and yellow splatter this one it's it's just more halloween colors to me this is orange with black splatter look at that so much nicer and so much more apt to the whole halloween season for me um, I haven't played the records yet. I will. I haven't just haven't had a chance on that. I, oh God, I'm sick of saying how many times I, last time I played a record. But you get that, and then you also get this glorious 4K, um, and this really does look amazing on 4K. They've done such a great job. That's the inside of the box, and then you get your your screen factory beautiful artwork on there slip cover um again the artwork on these 4k's are absolutely slated um i think it's bollocks because i think it looks amazing um the uk quad poster which i've shown here it's, it's not that great um the american artwork is so much better it's got reversible art so that's the american and probably the one you know the most um artwork for the for the release of the film and you do get the blu-ray as well as the 4k in there um i think this now is probably my second favorite halloween film uh i was saying that for, for a long time um my ratings for these were one, two, and three. But when I watched this last night, wow, what a film. I absolutely love it. Um, I think this has probably jumped up to number two, actually. Um, and number two is probably my third. Uh, they're very, very close, but I think this one just pips it to the post. This is the, this is the one where they, um, they make the masks in the factory. Uh, I'm trying, I don't want to give the plot away if you haven't seen it. Um, but there's an evil mask maker and all will be revealed. If you haven't seen this, you need to see it. It's amazing. So that is uh, the second film I watched, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. The third film that I watched, and how could I not watch this? Um... This is one of the worst UK quad posters I think I've ever seen. And this is the original John Carpenter classic, Halloween. Again, I do have the box set. There's the young Michael on the front with his knife after just killing his sister. They're the sides. Again, this is the Sacred Bones one. Um, take that lid off. You get this gorgeous seven inch single. It really boils my piss when people get these and they go, oh, and it's got a, a it's got a vinyl album. No, it hasn't. It's got a seven inch single dimwit. And again, it I think it's that lovely orange and black splatter. Yes. Oh, this one's got a bit of white on the looks of the Damn, that's pretty. Look at that. Um, on the A side, you get the Halloween theme. And on the B side, it's Laurie's theme. Now, this isn't the usual um, Halloween 
film version. This is a re-recording. Uh, and it's John Carpenter, Cody Carpenter and Daniel Davies. So it's John Carpenter, his son and his mate who do the, the late Halloween soundtracks. Uh, the 2018 and the two sequels. And I'm showing you these, but you've probably seen them before. Again. For me, that is just beautiful artwork. I love it. And this looks absolutely stunning in 4K. Um, I think this is a three disc set, this one. If I remember rightly. Yeah. You get the original film on 4K. This is a little bit loose, that's why I'm all done to that there. And then when you turn that over, you get the film on Blu ray, and then I think it's the, um, the TV cut, if I remember rightly. Oh no, it says colour. Colour timing. So that must be like the original one before that. I don't know what colour timing is. And all you snobs are going, <laughs> you don't know what colour timing is. <laughs> no, I don't. Because I watch the films and I sit and bloody pick at it. But that looks absolutely stunning. No need to go into the plot of that one, that's for sure. Because I think everybody on the planet has seen that one. And then the single goes over that. That's a beautiful coloured vinyl single. Another one of my all-time favourite films. This is probably my fourth favourite, or joint third with Creepshow. John Carpenter's original Halloween. The fourth film I watched, um, I couldn't I couldn't not watch it after watching Halloween. It's Halloween 2 with a great um, UK quad poster. I don't watch Halloween 2 every single year, but I do watch Halloween and Halloween 3 every single year. It depends where I'm like for time, but I don't know, I just really, really wanted to watch it this year. Um, again, seven inch single. The shape enters Laurie's room on side one and the shape stalks again on side two. I didn't read the tracks on the third one because I forgot and I'm not opening it again now to read it. Beautiful. That. Oh, look at that. It's nice to see that they've all got a bit of difference as well. Like the first one was just black and orange with no white, but look at that. And when you turn it over, how much more white there is on there to the orange. That is beautiful. So much nicer for me. I mean, I know red and yellow go together and it's nice as a splatter colour, but these are so much nicer for me. The more Halloween colours. Um, and again, stunning in 4K. Um, I know John Carpenter really didn't want this to happen. He just wanted Halloween to be a standalone film. And rightly so. But we got them all. Reversible artwork is that one again. I love that cover. I used to have the original X certificate VHS. Um, and I got rid of it when the Blu-ray uh, DVD came out stupidly. Um, so you get the film on 4K, which is absolutely stunning. Um, the film on Blu-ray and then you get a DVD it's this one's got the DVD of the TV cut I don't think that TV cut's ever had a Blu-ray release yet because I think even in the, the Blu-ray box set I think it's only a DVD in there as well um, but this what, what a sequel just such a great sequel uh, Halloween 2 and Halloween till the record put that back on these are absolutely gorgeous these sets so that was the fourth film I watched 
sequel to John Carpenter's Halloween, but I think this one was directed by Rick Rosenthal, Halloween 2. So the fifth and final film that I watched last night, well into the early hours of the morning for Halloween, I do have it twice on Blu-ray. I've got the Scream Factor on with the slip cover, and I've got the quite rare one uh, on Warner Brothers US with the slip cover. Such an amazing anthology this. Um, I couldn't find my Blu-ray, so I just stuck it on on streaming, and it's this. It's the fantastic. Trick or treat. If you haven't seen this, wow, you are missing out. What a film. Um this this may well be my second favourite anthology film of all time. After Creepshow. It's it's just a fantastic film. There's four stories or five, I think it's four stories going on. Um and you need to watch this more than once because when you watch it again, you'll realise, you'll you'll see as one story's going on. For instance, like you'll look out or somebody might walk out the gate and they'll walk past somebody. And then you'll see that somebody later on in their story. So it's like all going on together at the same time. Or you'll see two or three people just walk past and you'll see them crop up again later on in their own story. <coughs> um there's another one as well where the next, you'll, there's something happening with the next door neighbour and then when that story happens you'll see it from the other side as well. It's weird and then it all comes together at the end. What a cracking idea. It's very well made. Um, very underrated. Um, and it's got a brilliant soundtrack which I've got on vinyl as well. Um, so that is... Um, I can't remember the director's name. But yeah. My favourite. Doug, Douglas Pipes. No, did he no, he did the music? Um I can't remember his name, but he's supposed to be doing Trick or Treat too. He's been the first one was two thousand seven and he's still making it. I'm still waiting. He won't do it now. But he also the same guy who did Krampus. Uh but if you haven't seen Trick or Treat, really, really you need to watch it. It's amazing. Um So that was the last film I watched for Halloween. This bad boy here, Trick or Treat. So that's all I watched uh, for Halloween. I'm saying all, I got five there. Um, the one that I didn't get a chance to watch was Tales of Halloween, um, which is another brilliant anthology. I love that. But there's only so many hours and I just couldn't fit it in. That's what she said. Bit of windy pops there. Um, yeah, but if you haven't seen Tales of Halloween, you need to see that as well. Um, so that's what I've watched on Halloween. Um, thank you very much indeed for watching, all two of you. I really do appreciate it. Um, and if you have subscribed, thank you so much. It means a lot. <clears throat> um, and I've got another amazing title on the way from the States. Can't wait for that to arrive because I haven't seen it for years and I love this film. Um, so until the next video, which I will see you on, obviously. What a bell end! <laughs> you all take care of yourselves, and I will see you very soon. Ta-ta.